there are three limitations of Kavach. Kavach is a railway safety system designed by our RDSO team. The government has planned to implement Kavach throughout India. Let's have a look at the limitations of Kavach. The first limitation of Kavach is the time taken for implementation. Kavach equipments has to be installed all along the railway track. There is about 1,28,000 kilometers of railway track in India. The current speed of Kavach installation is 3,000 kilometers per year. And with this speed, it will take about 42 years to cover the 1,28,000 kilometers. If installation is double to 6,000 kilometers per year, we will be able to cover the same distance in approximately approximately 21 years. Even if we triple the installation to 9000 km per year, it will still take about 14 years to implement. So, it will take many years before we see Kavach implemented completely. Please note that sufficient yearly budget also needs to be allocated if we double or triple the implementation speed. This leads us to the second limitation, the cost of implementation. Kavach equipments has to be installed all along the 1,28,000 km railway track with a cost of rupees 20 lakhs for every kilometer. This cost comes up to rupees 25,600 crores. Kavach also needs to be installed in every locomotive. There are about 13,000 passenger locomotives and about 8,000 freight trains. In total, about 21,000 locomotives need Kavach installation. The cost for installation in each locomotive is rupees 60 lakhs. Hence, the cost for the 21,000 locomotives will come up to rupees 12,600 crores. Hence, the total cost of implementing Kavach accordingly will be rupees 38,200 crores. This cost is excluding maintenance, repairs and any upgrades needed to Kavach's capability, which is the next limitation that we are going to discuss. Just to give us an idea, revenue is at rupees 2,210 crores out of the rupees 2.64 lakh crores from the 2023-24 railway budget. Major portion of development funds which are coming from revenue are going for track upgrades. So, it is not that simple to budget rupees 38,200 crores for Kavach. With this much of amount spent, Kavach is not totally foolproof. If you like to know more about this and how the Balasore train tragedy happened with more economical ways to prevent head-on collision of trains, do watch the video where I have explained these. I'll place a card somewhere here. You can also find the video link in description. Please have a look at the video and do let me know your comments. The third limitation of Kavach is its speed handling capabilities. And there is one safety issue which we will discuss later. The guidelines describe that Kavach will work up to a train speed of 160 km per hour. But then it will be permanently limiting the speed of our indigenously designed and built the latest super fast express Vande Bharat. It has clocked a max speed of 183 km per hour. And we are proud of this achievement. Although this max speeds cannot be maintained for the whole length of the railway track, it is only possible at certain sections of the track, especially due to track limitations. The tracks are also planned to be upgraded to speeds of 160 km per hour. Hence, the speed of our future trains will be restricted to 160 km per hour. So, although we have the capability to have faster trains, we will not be able to go fast. Nor are we planning to go fast. Coming to the safety issue, Kavach's handling speed for trains is 160 km per hour. It is exactly equal to the express train's limited max speed of 160 km per hour. Question here is, how will Kavach handle and bring down the speed of overspeeding express trains which would cross the 160 km per hour? If Kavach is designed to handle up to 160 km per hour, it would not be able to bring down the speed of the overspeeding train. Solution is to have Kavach handle more speed than the maximum speed that a train can attain. For example, over here, if max speed of the train is limited to 160 km per hour, adding 10% to max speed as safety buffer will come up to 176 km per hour. So the tracks and Kavach should be able to handle say speeds of 180 km per hour. That is how Kavach will be able to handle and bring down the speed of overspeeding trains. The handbook of Kavach requires Kavach to handle speeds of up to 200 km per hour. But Kavach is being upgraded to handle speeds of 160 km per hour according to Wikipedia and online sources of information. Most importantly, Kavach and tracks should have higher speed handling capabilities than that of the train. We will then not have this safety issue but the three limitations will still remain. There is a major updation of tracks taking place along with the installation of Kavach. Government has to really look into this so that time, money and effort spent on Kavach and tracks is not wasted and safety is maintained. If you like my video, please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will really help and motivate me to make more videos like this. The target is to reach 100 likes and 100 subscribers. 
Thank you.